YouTube. Alright y'all, so welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see by the title, today I'm going to be talking about Carmen and Corey. I actually wanted to talk about them a minute ago, but the reason why I didn't talk about them was because they weren't really going back at it again. It was just Corey really talking and just being on live and talking a lot to provoke Carmen, but Carmen didn't respond because Carmen is very mature. But now Carmen decided to respond, so now I'm making this video and I'm gonna tell y'all my opinion towards everything that is going on. All right, guys, so before I do start, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. This channel is mainly gonna be about drama, so if you guys are interested about drama and talking shit just like me, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel because baby, we're gonna be talking a lot over here. We're gonna be talking a lot. Apart from subscribing, make sure to comment as well because comment what you guys think about the situation. I know that I did make another video last time about Christian Rock and Blueface and a lot of people were commenting about what they thought. So I really like that because it's like it gets to, like I get to know that I'm not the only one thinking like this, okay? So, all right guys, so I don't know if you guys know, but Corey and Carmen... I don't know why I keep saying Corey and Carmen. This is supposed to be Carmen and Corey. Yeah, Carmen goes first, Corey go last. You have know I mean? it? <laughs> Carmen and Corey, right? They been together for a long time. You know, they're YouTubers or whatever. They've been together for a long time. And we have seen the different scandals and the scandals that have popped up via Corey's side and how he's been cheating and how Carmen has been taking him back, right? So recently, Carmen decided to part ways with Corey. And me personally, I feel like that is really good. I feel like people try to put ideas into people's heads and stuff, but really only only a person knows how much they could tolerate, you know? And then when that person is done tolerating whatever they're tolerating, then they're just gonna get up and leave. And I feel like this time it was Carmen's time to get up and leave. I'm pretty sure she was tired of all the BS that was going on and stuff like that. So she decided to get up and leave because yeah, she gotta go. Okay, so they made the announcement that they was gonna, you know, part ways or whatever, that they was going to go to different, they were gonna live in different apartments and stuff and all of that. People started saying that it was fake or whatever because they had previously done that various times before. They had said that they was going to split and they never split. Carmen kept taking him back or whatever and she was always defending him and stuff even though he was publicly embarrassing her or whatever. But this time it was actually true, okay? And then he went on live and he kept on talking like, like very immature like men do because he's very immature. And I'm really glad that Carmen decided to know her value of her worth and step out because like I said previously, Women, we do know our value and stuff, but we don't all know our value at the same time. For example, it may take 10 years for somebody or for a woman to know her value and her worth, and then it might take another woman like maybe two years, and then it might take another woman two months to know we are all different and we all have different mentalities, we all think differently. I'm glad that she actually came into that you know, mindset and she knows her worth now, okay? So basically, these two separated and Carmen, I'm just going to talk about what has happened now. I already talked about previously. So previously he cheated on her or whatever. And now Carmen decided to move on. They live separately in separate houses or whatever. And Carmen obviously has full custody of the kids or whatever still. So he has been going on live or whatever. And he has been talking about Carmen and stuff like that. But Carmen really doesn't care. Carmen really doesn't respond. She's just very mature. She's doing her own thing and she's leaving him wherever he's at, right? So recently, okay, Carmen has been doing a couple of things. She's been talking to other people. I know she's been talking to this guy, um, I think it's called Michi. His name is Michi. And then she has been talking to this other guy. She's been doing her own thing and stuff. And Corey obviously has been acting out, of course. He has been posting tweets and all of that, being very immature, talking about her, always bringing up her name, always bringing up her name, always mentioning her and stuff like that. And me personally i feel like that's how men are men you would give them 25 years you will give them 30 years to get their shit together and they don't get their shit together but once you leave they want to get all of their shit together and i feel like that's not fair that's not fair because she gave you enough opportunity she even defended you online when you publicly embarrassed her and stuff and you're still over here acting a fool so now that she really left you now that she's really moving on now that you see that she has all the attention that she has because she's very beautiful right she's very beautiful now you want to sit here you want to act out but i feel like that's your timing is up because she's done because i feel like when a woman is done a woman is done you can't make her change her mind or nothing she is completely done so now it's up to you to fix your error on your own with another woman because she's not coming back so 
basically he has been talking on Twitter or whatever. And this is the part where I'm saying that they have been clashing or whatever now. So recently he posted some, this anger that's built up inside me only going to make me a stronger man. Don't wish this pain on no man. Five months since I've seen CJ and Kaden and this S is killing me inside. Been in my kid's life since they were born. Never not been a father to my boys. Hate you females that think that this shit is cool. And then he went on and he kept on tweeting. I got $100,000 for the best lawyer cash. I'm finna go to war in the system. If you go low, I'ma go to hell. You could take a trailer park piece of trash and give them the world and they'll forget where they came from in front of the people that don't know them. Okay, so the trailer park piece of trash part, I feel like that's coming from Carmen being an immigrant. Okay, so if you guys don't know, she was actually born in Puerto Rico. And I do believe that they both got married. He gave them papers and everything because that's how the system works. If you're literally an immigrant or whatever, what you can do is you can marry an American, someone who was born in America, and then they can give you like the papers for you to actually be legal in this country. So that's why I feel like he said that. And I feel like he is so wrong for that because you don't you don't brag about what you do and i really hate people who do that it's so annoying like you don't brag about what you do if you do something you do it because out of the kindness of your own heart because you know that if you do something out of the kindness of your own heart and they take advantage of you it's only going to come back to them it's not going to come back to you because you did it out of the kindness of your own heart so the fact that you're saying that you picked up a piece of trash is basically you bragging that she was nobody when you met her and then you made her somebody and now she want to come and act like she's somebody in front of people who don't know her or whatever. So I feel like that was really messed up or whatever. But really the piece of trash is him. Like, because you're mad because she left you. And she left you because you're trash. Like, <laughs> obviously. So that was that. And then Carmen, she didn't take that lightly. I'm pretty sure that was the part that she didn't take lightly. And she came back full throttle, okay? She came back. Dumb hard. She ain't, she was not playing with nobody. As she should. She should not be playing with nobody because he's really playing with her. So if he want to play with her, then play with him. I don't blame her. Play with him. All right, guys. So in response to what Corey has said, this is what she said. Maybe if you would stop bashing and disrespecting, S would be different. And she put that in capital letters. Keep screaming, I know the real her. Y'all don't. Shut the F up because how many times I cried and asked for family time. How many times I told you to spend quality time with your kids? Just because you was there since they were born doesn't make you a father in capital letters. You don't even be knowing your own kids' clothes sizes. Wouldn't be able to tell CJ's favorite juice, Caden's favorite food, Caden's sizes on pull-ups. Just want to scream and let this S out. I'm tired, bro. I haven't been doing S, but trying to figure S out. Working on myself. But man, I'm an effing human being too. And I promise I wasn't going to do this, but damn. When MF is trying to say my kids are this and that, F y'all. All he want to keep doing is threatening me or keep mentioning my status and a lawyer. Man, do what the F you have to do at this point and leave me alone. Not going to lie, this S is mentally and emotionally draining the F out of me. Just like you know the real me, I know the real you too. Don't forget that. Remember the times we had conversations and you will cry because you knew you wasn't being a father and barely even spending time with them? Everybody who want to say I'm this and I'm that for not letting you see them kids can shut the F up because this man knows damn well his father role wasn't it while we was together. When we was back, cool. In December, every time you ask for them, I FaceTime you. So what do you mean? Stop, Corey. Instead of keep going to social media, work on yourself as a man to become a better father to your boys. Instead of getting on here and trying to ruin the person who's making sure they eat their meals every day. Don't forget the times I told you I don't want CJ to grow up disliking you because all you do is scream and want to pop him, but can't even spend quality time with them. You take them to the park and you're ready to go in four minutes. You never was patient, helped you with that. And just wanted to be a family, do family activities. Don't forget when we will make plans with the kids and someone called you, you changed the plans and forgot about us. All right, guys, so that's basically what Carmen had to say on her end. And I feel like she's really spilling tea because, like I said before, when he said that he picked up a tree, when he picked up a piece of trash, that's because he was talking about her immigration status. It really wasn't nothing different. It's not that hard to find out. It's, he was talking about her immigration status. And me, personally, I'm a Hispanic, okay? My parents, they're from Central America. My parents are immigrants, okay? My, like, I feel like a lot of, we know, we at least know one person as an immigrant, okay? They have come here from a different country or whatever. I feel like when we come here, 
there's a bunch of racism okay and there's racism still and all of that but people only see racism from white people caucasian people to black people but, but racism also exists from black people back down to hispanic people okay and this is a perfect example me personally i don't want to bring this topic because this is a whole different topic to talk about but i just want to say and mention that because i feel like not a lot of people see that okay when there are black people who literally think that they're better than a hispanic person and for you to sit here and say that you picked up a piece of trash that's crazy that to me that's really crazy because to me nobody's trash you're basically saying that you're better than her because what her immigration status that doesn't make you better than her she has your kids and she's raising your kids but you're better than her make that make sense and she already she exposed you you don't be taking care of your kids you have you don't be taking care of your kids and like she said all she wanted was to be a family and have family activities but you don't even you didn't even you didn't even make time for that but you want to sit here and make time for your friends like she said allegedly so right now as of now there's no response from Corey I, knowing how immature Corey is he's most definitely gonna respond because he always has something to say but I'm really glad that she finally spoke out about something and she aired him out because you're not about to sit here and keep on bashing me when I'm the one taking care of your kids like me personally I'm a mother I have a child and I and I know exactly what she's talking about it is so annoying when you're sitting here you're taking care of, of her kids of you're taking care of his kids right they're your kids too but they're his kids as well and he's over here trying to bash you like if you miss me just say that if you miss me just say that but you're mad because I'm not taking you back you know what I mean? So that's really good that she said that. That's good that she spoke up for herself because she has always been quiet. She has always been sticking up for him. So it's good that she spoke for herself. So that is it for this video. Like I said, there is no response from Corey as of now. But when there is a response from Corey, I'm going to make an updated video. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out of the updated video. And make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video when I post. So we can talk about the trauma because the trauma is drama ring, okay? So that is it, y'all. Make sure to comment what you guys think. And I'm going to see y'all in the next updated video, okay? Bye.